making a little video here. I'm running my old NTSC Commodore 64. This is a Super CPU 64 V2 with the 16 megabyte RAM option. And I can't really see it with the light, but it's an IDE 64. And I am loading for the first time ever the just released Wolfenstein 3D for the Commodore 64. This is the physical hardware, the real deal. Um, this particular C64 main board that I have in this case is actually from 83. So this is um, fairly early production. I don't know if this is actually going to work on an NTSC machine since it's apparently only been tested on a PAL machine. Uh, the game was just released a couple days ago and uh, well I, I just I haven't seen any confirmation yet uh, over here on stateside. So this is a port um, I believe the changes were fairly minimalistic. This may be mostly a proof of concept. There is no save ability. Um, but still, this is a hell of a tour de force. And, uh, oh, I do need a joystick. Let's, uh, grab one real quick. Just about loaded. Plug this in before we hit 2A on the hex meter there. Okay. All right. An old Epic style joystick. Got it on port two. Give me a little bit of volume. I have no idea if there's actually sound. I'm definitely looking forward to this. So, oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Huh. Press a key. Try the joystick. Huh. I don't think this even works. Oh. Wow. Okay, 16 colors. Those work. Let me back out. I think that's frames a second in the corner. Fortunately, I don't know what it actually says there. Ah, here we go. Okay. Control. Probably just leave that alone. Got a game. Escape from Wolfenstein. Can I play Daddy? It's probably right up my alley. 
get sniped. Space bar? How do you open doors? I never freaking remember. Be good if I actually played this game. I'll just waste my ammo, why not? Since I don't know what I'm doing. Return space. There we go. Well, I'll be damned. This really does work. If I take the uh, super CPU and I kill its speed. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Actually crashed the game. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> 